Hi there folks, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips and this is your weekly fishing report. Starting off this week, we've had a lot of water from Storm Beta. Uh, it's going to be a lot of water the next few days, so what I suggest, the boats that usually can't get in these places should be able to move around quite a bit this week. Uh, South Bay, still holding a lot of good redfish. If you come into this creek, you can come all the way back here to the back of the Lighthouse Lakes. Come into this first lake, all these mangroves up against this shoreline, get them live mullet, live piggies. Uh, you can also use any kind of dead bait, ladyfish, pin perch, mullet, a lot of good fish all back here in Lighthouse Lakes. A lot of oyster reefs. Uh, shouldn't matter this week, but just be careful on some of these reefs. Run through there cautiously. But if you work all these mangroves back here in Lighthouse Lakes, you're going to find them redfish. Been a lot of good ones, a lot of slot fish, but a lot of good redfish all back here in Lighthouse Lakes. To get into sailboat, if you stay on this east end of this bridge, you should avoid them rocks. But a lot of rocks underneath that bridge, so watch your lower units pick that motor up. Come on under this bridge. Come into sailboat channel. When you come down, you'll see another channel off to the right that goes back into Brown and Root Flats. You can also work that channel all the way sailboat up to these flats. Bend drum using live shrimp or dead shrimp with just a lead head. If you see that dirty water, muddy water, that's going to be them drum. If you don't find them in there, them redfish have been back here in Brown and Root Flats. All these cuts and guts and up against these islands and these back coves. This week, with that water being up like it is, them fish are going to be all the way back in here in these little coves. If they're not in here, you can tie on a gold spoon, or you can put your popping cork on with live shrimp, or your favorite DOA, or your down south lure, uh, some soft plastics, uh, darker colors with this water condition. But you can put your drift sock on and start hitting all of this back here in Brown Root Flats. You're going to see them redfish. They're going to pick up, and you're going to see that school. If you do that, just pull down on them, throw them baits to them, and you're going to be hooked up. A lot of good fish back here in, in Brown Root Flats right now. Those redfish are still schooled up here at the south and north end of the jetties. Same deal, live shrimp, live mullet. You can free line them. Uh, you can put a little weight on top of your swivel. But a lot of good fish along these granite rocks, especially with this water as high as it is, they're looking for structure. Uh, we've also been catching some gag groupers, some red snapper, some uh, mangrove snappers, all been caught on these granite rocks here at the jetties. If you don't get them there, you come at the point of Harbor Island, all against this dock right here. Same deal, live mullet, live shrimp, dead shrimp with just a lead head. Uh, a lot of good fish being caught right along this shoreline right here. You can also jump to the other side where these houses are. There's granite rocks all right through here, but them redfish and mixed in with some trout have also been behind these houses. You cannot tie up to the piers, but you can put your trolling motor down or you can anchor up. Uh, a lot of good fish being caught along this wall. You can also run down here to Charlie's Pasture. Charlie's Pasture is still holding good redfish and trout all along this edge. So get your favorite baits, get out there, and catch you some fish. Stedman's Reef, also another good spot to uh, ambush them redfish. All on top of this reef, been holding good reds, live mullet, live shrimp, under a popping cork, any of your cut baits. If you're looking for them trout and you want to get over here into this flat, all of this flat is real good. You can uh, tie on your popping cork with your favorite soft plastics and put your drift sock on and drift all of this Stedman's flat. Been still good trout hanging off all in here. Uh, if you want to jump across, you can come out and jump right into Redfish Bay using your popping corks. Uh, you can also use a gold spoon, but a lot of good fish been hanging off all in here in Redfish Bay also. Work all these islands and cuts and, and potholes, but never know what you're going to pull out of these potholes. A lot of good fish been all through here in Redfish Bay also. Still been a lot of water, but we've been coming into Pink Shack Cove channel right through here. Them redfish have been hanging on both edges. Uh, also coming around this bend, there's some little islands right up against this shore here. Uh, redfish have been stacked up in here. If you don't locate them there, tie on a big old white super spook or a gold spoon. Get back here in these back flats. 
uh, all the way up against the shore as tight as you can. Them redfish have been hanging all tight up against this shore right here. Uh, if you're looking for trout, uh, get you some good piggies or get you some live shrimp under a popping cork. But all of this area back in here also been holding trout, but a lot of redfish. Also, if you see that mudded up water when you're running through there, it's either redfish or black drum. So it's best to have you some dead shrimp. And if you see that dirty water, you just uh, work these channels. And it's usually black drum, but a lot of good fish in all these guts back here in Shamrock. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.